Hello, this is Mr. Avery. And I'm Zombie Cat. And this is our review of the NECA Preacher action figures. Series 1. Jesse Custer and Cassidy. And that's the only two they made. Usually NECA does like about three figures in a series. Which would have made perfect sense because... Where the fuck is Tula? Yeah! God damn it! There were three main people. But they didn't make it Tula. They just made these two. I, I mean, want a damn tulip, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> now, if they only made two, I probably would have picked these two. Yeah. But... It just seems weird to have the two of them and not have tulip. Yeah. So, I'm hoping these sell well and they make more. Yeah, go buy them, damn it. It's kind of worrying me because I was at Toys R Us and the one we got these still has several there and they've been there for a couple weeks and they better sell, damn it. But, uh... The show is really awesome. I really love it. I really love the characters in it. The story's crazy and over the top, but in a good way. Yeah, we we watched the first episode a long time ago, and I was like, eh, I kind of like it. I kind of want to watch it. And then we just didn't. And then recently we got all caught up on it. And I really like the show. Hmm, it's pretty good. So I'm hoping, like, I don't know if maybe the next series will have three, if they'll just do two again, but... I really hope Tulip has to be one of them. And the others, I would say the, the cowboy and Eugene, or Arseface, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> <laughs> Those two gotta be made. Or th three, I guess. Those three have to be made. But definitely Tulip! But okay, let's look at these. So, there's a picture of the actor. I don't know his name. But there he says Preacher, Jesse Custer, and then Preacher. And up oh, there's a little description on the back. We both like the uh, upside down church. <laughs> so. yeah. They use that on the bunch of the promo images. And like when you're watching it on on demand or Netflix or whatever, we watch them on Hulu. I think Hulu. Yes, yeah, Hulu. Well, whatever. Can't we'll... watch it on on demand because I fuck everything up. Yeah. And here is Cassidy. And there's a picture of him down there. And on the back, there's a description. I think it's the same description, though. <laughs> <laughs> but let's open these up. All right, so there they are, open up and out of the package. And I think they're pretty cool for the most part. We have a couple issues, but still. They're minor issues, most of them. They come with multiple accessories. You can see that Jesse's holding a beer and also a hymnal. I'm kind, of, I'm kind of wondering why he's not holding a Bible. And Cassidy also comes with a hidden hymnal, but it's red instead of blue. And Jesse comes with another, a second beer bottle, alternate fist hands, and then the coffee can, which is important to the story. And Cassidy comes with two alternate fist hands. Two beer bottles, this uh, uh, rat water, I don't know if it's a whiskey, or I forget what the drink is, some kind of alcohol. Probably whiskey. And yeah, like you said, the red hymnal. So that's cool, they got a lot of accessories and options. One of the gripes we noticed quickly after opening these is, that has to do with the accessories, is Cassidy. He comes with the the beer bottle and the whiskey and he comes with alternate hands but then none of them can hold the bottles the fist can't hold them and these open hands can't hold them which they gave Jesse a bottle holding hand so why doesn't Cassidy have one when he came with three freaking bottles yeah I know I, I kind of wish he had either all either another set of hands or maybe those hands would just be the like holding hands instead of the hands they gave us yeah. But, uh, that's pretty much the only things that bug me about the accessories. I do think you should paint one of those hymnals black and write the Bible on it. <laughs> that might be hard to write the Bible on that. Something At least small. paint a black, put a little cross on it. Oh, yeah, I could do that. That'd be easy. But, they were saying maybe it's some kind of issue where NECA didn't want to get yelled at for putting a Bible in there. I don't know. I was saying, before we started recording, I was saying, 
Well, if they would have a problem with the Bible coming with the toy, then they probably have a really big issue with the whole show in general. Yeah. <laughs> well, it could have to do with the whole Breaking Bad thing and people complaining about it coming with a sheet of meth. That could be part of the reason <laughs> they don't want that kind of stuff happening. It's because there's dumb people out there that are like, toys are for children, you can't do that. Why are you letting your kid watch Breaking Bad and then complaining about the toys they want to get? <laughs> if they watched it in the first place, that's a bigger problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go over the preacher first. That's Jesse Custer. And I think he's the better figure for a couple reasons that we've noticed. But we'll get into that when we get to Cassidy. But yeah, there's not a whole lot that I think they could do better with this preacher figure. I think he looks pretty good. It looks like the actor that plays him. They get a, did a really good job on his likeness and his head. The hair even looks like him. <laughs> yeah, he got that big hair. I mean, his outfit ain't hard to get right because it's basically just black. But they did put a lot of detail into it. Yeah. And like you were saying before, he basically wears the same outfit all the time. But there are a little bit of variances. Like sometimes he has like a jacket on or something. So they could have went with that instead of this. But, whatever. <laughs> it doesn't make that big of a difference on him. I mean, the the difference between rolled up black sleeves and a black jacket that goes down to his wrist isn't really that big of a difference. No, I'm fine with this. He still has a little silver... I don't know what those are called on his collar. Yeah. I should know. I used to wear Western wear. <laughs> but, uh, if this line is successful, we might get another Jesse at some point. But uh, he's got his little boots. I imagine not too many preachers wear that. But it looks pretty cool. I don't know. In Texas, they might. Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> he's got a little pack of smokes in his front pocket. And painting little rivets on his shirt. They did a good, a good job painting the little details. They're not messy like they sometimes are on other figures. Yeah. And yeah, this outfit's pretty plain, but there's a lot of wrinkle detail. Mm-hmm. And seams and things like that. He's even got texture to his pants. Oh, yeah, a little bit, if you look closely. Mm-hmm. And... Oh, there's a closer look at his face. See, there's some wrinkles. Pretty, did a pretty decent job on his beard. Although, for some reason, they didn't connect his beard right there. It's connected on this side. This side is not. I just know. That's weird. I think that's. I, I'm guessing that's probably something that, that's not on everybody's. Yeah. That kind of sucks. Yeah. Eyes are pretty straight. They're just a tiny bit off, but they're pretty straight. They did a pretty good job on his face, though. I mean, they got his forehead wrinkles and his crow's feet and everything. Yeah, it looks like him. Pretty impressed with him. Got his ring on. Was that a wedding ring? Looks like it. It's on the right finger. Was he? He wasn't married, was he? No. I don't know what the, what the, what's that then. Got a watch on. It almost looks like he painted his fingernails white. Yeah, <laughs> they are a little light. <laughs> <laughs> but still, I I like this figure. Overall, I say he's pretty damn good. Mm -hmm. The beard thing does kind of suck, though. Yeah. And, uh... That'd probably be a lot harder to fix. There's the... Beard hard comes. hammer. Yeah, hard hammer logger. And there's a little Texas symbol up on there. That's pretty cool. It's opened up on top. And here's the coffee can. Old-timer coffee. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And this is what Genesis goes into. This is abode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which, uh, this isn't really Jesse's item, but the characters that it goes with might not ever get figures, so it's kind of cool that Jesse comes with it. I hope they do, though. Yeah. I kind of cool. like them, especially the tall one. Mm hmm. <laughs> so doofy. <laughs> And here's the oh wait, and here's the blue hymnal he comes with. The hymnal. 
It really seems like they... I'm going to say the hymnal on it. (laughs) It seems like a dumb name. It really thinks they meant to give him a Bible and they decided at the last minute, well, we better not make it a Bible. (laughs) I don't know. I could be wrong. There could be some other reason why they gave him this instead of a Bible. That Maybe some detail in the show that I didn't pick up on. Maybe he carries around a hymnal all the time. Does he hit somebody with a hymnal? I think he does. Maybe that's why. I'm not sure, but I think he might. Like They're fighting in the church, but I'm not sure. That could be it. Uh, maybe he doesn't actually carry a Bible around. <laughs> I still think he should come with one, though. Yeah, it would make I mean, sense. especially since we have two hymnals, you should paint one of them like a Bible. Yeah. <laughs> That's real easy, though. All you gotta do is paint it black with a little gold cross on it. Mm-hmm. So you can pop his hand off and you see you that little gray peg thingy in there. Pop the other hand on. Popped off really easily. A little harder to get on, though. But it's on there now. So that's cool, he's got fist hands. Because he is an excellent fighter. But now let's go over articulation. So, up at the head. You can look up and down like that. Turn his head to the side. Tilt. And then at the shoulder. Pretty good articulation there. Then down at the elbow, you can spin. But also there's a hinge joint. Then at the wrist it could spin. A little bit of wobble. A little bit of, well it's a ball joint so there's a little more movement. Then at the torso. Spin there. Lean back and forward just a little bit. Then at the hips. You can basically do a full split. Kick out. Like that. And this part's kind of, it's kind of rubbery, flexible. You could spin there too. And down at the knee, you could spin there. Also a hinge joint, goes about that far. Down at the ankles, I think it's a ball joint there. So you can twist it. Go like that. So that's pretty cool. Articulation is pretty good on this. So... One thing I kept thinking while watching this show, and also when he's got these fist hands on, because he could fight really good, it really reminds me of Dead Alive, because there's a preacher on there, or a priest, I guess, who can kick ass. (laughs) And he's like, I kick ass for the Lord. (laughs) So if you ever see Dead Alive, or Brain Dead in certain parts of the world, it's called, but that movie is awesome, an awesome zombie movie, comedy, horror movie. Dude, there's been several times where we were watching Preacher and I really wanted him to say, I kick ass for the Lord. I know. (laughs) It reminds me of that so much. (laughs) But now we're moving on to Cassidy. A figure that is pretty cool in some ways, but also we have a lot of issues with it compared to Preacher, who I think looks pretty much perfect. I'd say the best thing about this figure is probably his outfit looks pretty good. Looks like Cassidy's outfit. I mean, it's not perfect. I mean, I think the the shirt could be a little better. Like they, It doesn't look like plaid. It looks like weird squares. Yeah, it could, it could be a little better. I think they did an excellent job on the denim, though. It looks like denim. The only thing is, if I had picked an outfit, I wouldn't have picked this one. Well, I think it's, it's kind of like his... When he first meets Jesse, he's mm-hmm. wearing this a lot. Like in the bar and stuff. Kind of like his, it's not his first appearance outfit because he first appears on the airplane and he's wearing like that. The under, vest thing. Yeah. Flight attendant. Well, yeah, when he meets Jesse, he's wearing this f- for several episodes. I think he has a symbol on. Doesn't he have something on his shirt in the show, though? I don't know. But I'd say he changes outfits the most. Like, Jesse's always pretty much in his pre- preacher outfit. Tulip changes costumes, but they're all sort of similar. But his he's always in something a lot different, it seems like. Which seems weird, considering where the hell does he get these clothes? I don't know. <laughs> like he fell out of an airplane with nothing. Magically has all these outfits. But so far, other than this checker, none of that has to do with our problems with a figure. I mean, they had to pick an outfit, and he has tons. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's not a bad outfit, it's just not the one I would have picked. Yeah, yeah, he has like a red design on his shirt. Looks like... I don't know what it is. It's 
Somebody riding a bull or something? Yeah. I mean, we're not going to go back and look through every episode to see if there's some point where he had a plain white shirt on. It's possible. I'm sure somebody will tell me if I'm wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but still, that is not that big of an issue for me that that symbol's not there. No, I just thought of it. So instead of us not... I don't want to keep saying that's not the issue. <laughs> we should probably go over the issues. Yeah. The number one issue with him is that does not look like him. Yeah. What's funny is when this figure first previewed before we watched the show, I thought, hey, they did a pretty good look, pretty good expression. I like the sculpt on there. But then after watching the show, it doesn't look like him. And I'm, I'm slightly more familiar with the actor because I already watched <clears throat> a whole other show that had him in it. I watched... Uh, Misfits. The face just isn't right. It does not. It doesn't look like uh, what's his name, Joe Gilgan, I believe. And I was thinking this kind of looks like Butthead. Mm-hmm. <laughs> For Peter, some Butthead. It's like, it looks like if Butthead was a real guy and he was grown up. This is Butthead. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, just that expression is weird. I mean, he makes a lot of weird expressions, but this. That's not a good weird expression, though. Yeah, I just don't... Like, it's not really goofy. It looks like... I don't even know what that expression is. And even turning it at different angles, I'm just not seeing that actor anywhere in this. Just, no. I mean, he's got the skinny face. His head's the right shape. The hair, but the face just isn't right. The eyes, the nose, the mouth, they just... It just doesn't look like him. No. Uh, one of the other issues Zombie Cat noticed... Is his skin color, his skin tone. It made him very tan. Yeah, he's very pale on the show, which makes sense. He's a vampire. He's Irish. He should have pale skin, and he does on the show. He has got he's got pale skin, but this he's tan. Like he's tanner than the preacher. And he should be like the same skin tone, or even a little bit lighter. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, one thing that probably happened is they worked on this figure before the show had actually aired and they probably based it off of pictures and maybe in the picture he was darker I mean that can happen that might have been what happened with this I think he's usually not very tan though yeah but pic- I, mean, I, I could be wrong but most pictures I've seen of that guy he looks pasty well it could have been a promo picture that, that stuff happens yeah yeah he just definitely seems too tan and I think Like, these are legitimate issues, but I think it bothers me more because he's pretty much my favorite character in the show so far. Yeah. I mean, for me, I'd say if I had to pick a favorite character, it'd probably be him. For me, I really like the trio as a whole. I think of them as a whole group. They they have very good uh, on-screen chemistry, yes. Yeah, all three of them. Mm -hmm. They work really well together. Um... So I think that's all of our issues with him. I mean, we already mentioned the hands. Like, he should have had a hand that can hold, like, his alcohol. I mean, you might be able to balance it and get it in there. But, uh, I got him to hold it in the other hand for, like, two seconds and it fell out. Yeah. I mean, you could rubber band it, but then you can see the rubber band. Like you are saying, you might be able to get Jesse's hands on him, but a different skin tone, it's not going to match. And he doesn't have the tattoos either, so... <laughs> It is cool they got his tattoos on there. It's pretty awesome. And looking at his denim, like we said, it they did a pretty good job on the jacket. Like mm-hmm. there's lots of seams on there, and it looks worn. And are the buttons really supposed to be pink though? I guess. I'm guessing they're probably supposed to be like copper. I don't know. I don't know. It seems like they're they're very pink looking. The pants look pretty good though. Looking at the back, there's a different shade on the butt and down on the thigh area, but it's not too noticeable. And down on his boots, he's got some plain looking shoes. <laughs> I call them boots, but I guess they're shoes. I mean, I think the I think the body looks like him though. He's a he's a tall, or at least he looks tall. He's, and he's real skinny. Lanky. I mean, it's what the body looks like. So they did an excellent job on the shape of his body, I think. That looks like him. Mm-hmm. I mean, from a distance, I think it'll look like him. But when you get up close to the face, no. It's, that's just not the right face. Now, he comes with two of these same 
hard hammer loggers. But he also comes with the uh, the rat water whiskey, and it's got a picture of the cowboy on it. And I'm guessing this bottle is supposed to be empty, but uh, that's pretty cool. He comes with that, and just like Jesse comes with the hymnal, but his is red instead of blue. They're decently done. And it's got the alternate hands so we can put the fist hands on. It's kind of funny, like, they show him when you first see him, he kicks a lot of ass on the airplane. And then after that, he don't really do a whole lot of fighting. But it seems like he should do more vampire stuff. But that has nothing to really do with the figure, that's just something in the show. I'm hoping at some point he will start to kick ass again. Yeah. It kind of seems like he's trying to figure out where he fits in with them. Yeah, it must be. So there he is with his fist hands. <laughs> <laughs> Dork. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess we can go over articulation now. It's probably going to be the same as Jesse's. But you can look up and down, turn side to side, tilt back and forth. His arm goes up. His jacket's flexible, so it allows it. Then you can spin at the elbow. Also a hinge. Ball joint at the wrist. Then at torso. Spin a little bit. Go back and forth a little bit. You can do a split. You can kick. You can twist there. His butt looks a little funny when he kicks forward. <laughs> and then there's a looks like he has a little bit more range bending in his knees than Jesse does you can spin there make him look like his leg is broken <laughs> <laughs> and there's a ball joint down at his ankle so his articulation is pretty good so I really like these figures I'm glad that they made them I'm glad that NECA did them I really like the Jesse figure I think it's pretty much perfect other than the beard thing <laughs> hopefully that's not all of them it's probably not yeah we just didn't notice so I pretty much like everything else about it mm -hmm. but like we said we got lots of issues with the Cassidy figure like his skin tone is too dark the face is just way off and he doesn't have hands to hold his alcohol which is annoying but still they're both pretty good the other thing is they really need to make a tulip. It should have been three of them. Like, mm -hmm. the problem could have been that maybe at the time they didn't know how big of a part tulip would be, maybe. Or maybe because she's female, sometimes it seems like female figures are sometimes harder to get. It might have been harder to get her likeness right or something. I don't know. And it seems like sometimes they don't sell as well, too. Which oh, is yeah. stupid because... Tulip is just as much of a badass as the two of them, if not more so. Yeah. Well, I really do like these figures. I like their accessories, and I hope they make more. I yeah. want a Eugene so bad. <laughs> yeah, and if you haven't watched the show, go watch it, damn it, because it's good. <laughs> well, this is Mr. Chief Cheese. And I'm the Zombie Cat. Thanks for watching. Go back. I'm finally free of Kilgrave. No one's going to tell me what to do now. Come over here, ma'am. Oh. Damn it! Come on, Jesse. She seems like a nice lady. Stand on one foot. Now hop. Uh, okay, go ahead. That was just mean, Jesse. <clears throat> Whoa, who the hell are you? I'm Blade, and I kill vampires. Oh, shit! Chase him, but hop on one foot. <laughs> now I'm talking to you, Necker. Make a tulip. Now. Oh, damn it, man. You see them other pictures there? Why don't you click on one of them to see the video? Or you could subscribe, Nate. Oh.